Praise the Lord, my dear viewer. I hope you are fine and uh, welcome to our 100 days of prayer series. And today we are continuing with our series and we are in day 60. Day 60, remember, we started with the Beatitudes and um, uh, we, we, this is um, a series or this week we are focusing on um, uh, or we are having time to search our hearts time to search our hearts and today we um, uh, uh, the topic of today is rewarding meekness rewarding meekness and our and our key verse is from the Bible, uh, from the book of Matthew 5 verse 5 Matthew 5 verse 5 Welcome to a session of prayer before we expound on this uh, text, shall we pray. Our loving Master in heaven, we thank you and we glorify your name for this day that you have blessed us with. Thank you for my dear viewer and thank you for the uh, way you have been with us since the day we started this series of 100 days of prayer. You have kept us safe and that's why we are able even to tune in and even to watch um, and participate uh, together with the World Church in these 100 days of prayer and each and every day as we intercede for our brethren and as we pray for ourselves, our countries, and as we pray for those who are suffering. May you accompany us and may you continue hearing, uh, hearing our prayers. And today as we get into the scriptures, we ask that may your Holy Spirit abide with us so that we can understand it and also we can be drawn closer unto thee. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 5, verse 5, that uh, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Remember, other versions reads, happy are the meek, for they shall inherit the the earth. I just wanted to know the exact meaning of this word meekness or meek and um, as you know we have dictionaries in our phones and uh, you can also if you have a hard copy of a dictionary you can check. Uh, it is an adjective. Meek is, um, uh, the word meek is an adjective and it means quiet or gentle and easily imposed on submissive. Um, and uh, this word um, impressed me because um, we have different personalities and um, meekness I think is something, it's a gift. I, I think meekness is something that we should all cultivate because it's one of the things that have a blessing in our life and being meek pays a lot of things and today um, uh, the Bible says that blessed are the meek for what? For they shall inherit the earth. I know many a times we would like to inherit something and we look forward to inherit something. Maybe from our fathers, maybe from our friends, maybe from, uh, from, 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 uh, from our elder brothers, you know, to inherit something. Uh, because in, uh, something which is inherited is precious in our hearts. Today, as we speak of meekness, the gift of meekness is inheriting the earth. Human nature is ever struggling for expression, ready for contests. But the, the who, he who learns of Christ is emptied of self, of pride, of the love of supremacy, and there is silence in the soul. Self is yielded to the disposal of the Holy Spirit. Then we are not anxious to have the highest praise. We have no ambition to the crowd and elbow ourselves into notice. But we feel that our highest praise is at the feet of our Savior. We look to Jesus waiting for his hand to lead, uh, to lead, listening for his voice to guide. This is true meekness. When we wait upon Jesus to lead us, when we wait upon Jesus to direct us, when we wait upon Jesus to take us through our lives, many a times where meekness is needed in this world, 
not uplifting ourselves of ourselves, not uplifting ourselves for, the, for, for, for what we have achieved, our achievement, but lowering ourselves down. Remember the scripture says that those who are low in heart, they will inherit the kingdom of God. Those who are meek, those who are humble, those who do not uplift themselves, they will inherit the war. I know the second coming of Jesus Christ will be a glorious experience. We will have a glorious experience when we will go to heaven. But when we come back in this world, this earth will be reformed. This world will be recreated to suit us. My dear brethren, let us humble ourselves. I would like to ask you a question in your heart. But before, let me assure you this. There is no happier place in life than knowing that you are in harmony with God in all you do. This harmony exists when Jesus is sought after and the exaltation of self is abandoned, recognizing that the sinful heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. This actually you can find in the book of Jeremiah 17.9 which tells us that our, our heart is, is, is sinful and desperately sick. Let me tell you, the desires of our hearts are sick because when we sinned or when Adam and Eve sinned, we are, were all inclined to sin. And that's why our nature, our canon nature is inclined to sin each and every day. We are inclined to sin. But let me say this. We should entrust Jesus with our hearts. We should humble ourselves. We should not trust in our hearts. We should not trust in ourselves. Because when we trust in ourselves, our hearts will deceive us. Humility, meekness is, uh, humility and meekness is the key to letting the Holy Spirit develop in you and in me. A true, beautiful, Christ-like character. Remember, the, we will, the only thing that we will carry with us to heaven is our character. And for us to have that, we must accept the Holy Spirit. We must humble ourselves, forsake our pride, forsake our, our ideas, and accept Jesus. Today, will you ask Jesus to come into your heart? And will you let your desires... You are self-centeredness, you are pensions, and your love of supremacy. Will you let these things away? Will you let them go? Will you ask him to replace them by enabling you, uh, you to practice gentleness, meekness, and humility? And will you start doing that today? That is a question that I want to ask you. My brother, it is better for you to have Christ in your heart. It is better for you to accept him. It is better for you to forsake of your own ambitions. It is better for you to give yourself to Christ. Let me say this. No matter how we will struggle in this life, to make ourselves better, we will not be able until we accept Jesus and we allow him to come in our hearts to change us. That's when we will change. Today as we pray, I would request you to humble yourself before the throne of grace. Let me say this, even if you try to sanctify yourself, even if you try your best not to sin, you will not by your own. You must accept Jesus to come into your heart. You must allow him to come so that he can fashion you the way he wants you to be. So that he can uh, enable you to be the way you are. The, the way he wants you to be. You cannot by yourself. You cannot by your own might. It is only through Christ. It is only through Jesus who we can be like him. Jesus today is calling you. Jesus is ready to make you humble. Jesus is ready to make you humble. Let us submit ourselves to him. As we pray, let us make and let us pray for Jesus to make us humble, for Jesus to make us meek, so that we will be rewarded by inheriting the world. My dear viewer, Jesus is asking you today, will you accept me? And when we accept him, the world or the earth is ours. When he comes to, to, to make it better, 
habitable. Remember, this world is not good living even at this moment. There is a lot of tribulations, sicknesses, there is a lot of troubles, there is a lot of like, uh, that pandemic we are experiencing, there is a lot of corruption. It's not good even if you have 100 acres or 1,000 acres in this world, it will not make you happy. But when Jesus comes the second time, he will take us home. After a thousand years, he will come back and he will clean this world and it will be a better place to live in. And we will live happily with others, rejoicing of his grace and singing of his mighty power and of his mercy. And we will live with him actually. He will not leave us alone, but we will live uh, with him. If that is your prayer, join me in prayer as we submit ourselves to thee. Our loving Master, thank you for being with us. Thank you for your grace and mercies that you have bestowed upon our lives. We request that may you be with us and may you come into our hearts so that you can cleanse us, so that you can help us to be meek, so that you can help us to be humble, so that you can help us to get, get, lead off our, our, our pride, lead off our anxieties, our, our ambitions. We can put them aside and let you control our lives. Father, what is that that has been disturbing us and has been keeping us away from your Son? Jehovah God, may you send your Holy Spirit so that he will compare us to live those things. And may he help us to submit ourselves, to humble ourselves, to allow him control our lives. Thank you because you are faithful and thank you because you are with us and you will continue being with my viewer and you will continue even listening to his prayers and if there is any hindrance that is making him or her not to submit totally to you, Father I pray that may you enable him to get rid of that and even myself I pray that may you enable me to submit fully to you so that you can work in me and through me. Thank you because of hearing our prayers. May you continue being with me. And even the prayer requests that we are receiving from our dear viewer, may you answer these prayers according to your riches in glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and even given thanks. Amen and amen. God bless you and may he keep you safe. Remember to subscribe, remember to share this message, and remember to send your prayer requests so that we can pray together. God bless you. Stay